Hi guys, welcome back. This is video part 27. You can see I'm back down on the fourth floor again. And you can also see that I've damaged my room. <laughs> I have removed the stairs that were sitting there. You remember the built-in stairs with the shelves underneath that I worked so hard at putting in? I tore them out. And I can't remember, was it yesterday or the day before? It's kind of all a blur now. But I got up and I... I suddenly wanted a fireplace and the only place I could put it was right there so I had to remove the stairs and I went to work on building this cute little pot belly stove and this actually has a working handle I um, kind of built it somewhat like the one we had when I was little it's a little bit different obviously it's a little bit more cartoony looking uh, we had a pot belly stove and it had a handle just like this one and um, it had a damper in the chimney, just like this. And I remember it really well, because my brothers and I used to sit around it almost every single day and drink coffee and play guitar and sing and talk and go over the uh, day's events. We would sit around a pot belly stove. Anyway, I um, recorded the whole thing for you so you can see how I built it. I don't, I'm kind of scared to call it a a tutorial because it's not really a tutorial because when I started I really didn't have an idea that it was going to end up like this I didn't know I was going to build that handle and I didn't know I was going to put a light in it I had no idea when I started I had a little idea what I wanted but I didn't know it was going to end up to be this so with all that said I'm just going to let you dive right in So I was looking in here this morning, I just added a little bit of um, fabric here, and this is a trunk from the gnome home, I was just trying it out there, it's not going to be staying here, I'll be making another trunk, I'll do that on video. But I was looking in here and I was thinking, you know, I think it needs a fireplace, <laughs> and I can't get the thought out of my head, and the only place I could put it is right there, so I think I'm going to have to remove this. Oh that kills me and it's really stuck in place too so I'll have to get out some tools and rip this off oh my goodness I don't want to do it but it looks like I'm gonna to have to because I can't get it out of my head I keep seeing a fireplace here and for the family that I have moving in I want to keep them warm you know what I mean they gotta stay warm Oh, this hurts. Painful. Painful. I think I'll be happy in the end, though. Because when I make these changes, I'm always thrilled that I went through with it. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can feel my floor is ripping underneath there. And I have to cut all around here. Okay. I'm going to turn the camera off because I'm holding one hand. I need to rip this out. It's gone. Look at my floor. You know what? Everything is repairable though. Nothing is a great loss. So whatever I do here is going to turn out. This is my pep talk to myself. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Alright, my desk is really messy. But I just put down some white paper so you can see a little bit better. I'll clean up another time. So I'm just using some wire. This is floral stem wire. It's 18 gauge. It doesn't matter. Uh, whatever you have on hand. Jewelry pieces would work as well. I'm just going to make the feet for the stove. And this is just rolled up tin foil. Just rolled it up. So what I want to do is make two feet. I am just winging this, and, and I'm, I have a slight idea in my head what I'm doing, but this could change. And two in the back. Okay. Let's see. Now, I want to wrap this around. <laughs> I have to just split this here.
I'm sure there's much better ways of doing this, but it is how my brain works. Is how I <laughs> I have an idea and I know I have to build something in a certain shape, so I just start off with basics and then I can just build on that. Okay. Oh, we have little feet. Now we are going to cut those down. Okay, now we can bend the ends. Yes. Looks like a little bug. All right, I have some scrap tin foil that I just pulled out of that room. So I'm going to make a back for the stove. So I am going to cut a piece. This is quite thick and hard to bend, so that's good. I'm going to use it as a brace in the back. I'm putting it right inside. Beautiful. There we go. I'm going to tape it in place. <laughs> Push it into the tape. I want tape on the inside as well. I keep checking to make sure that it's sitting straight and it's not gone wonky on me. A couple times it did, but I fixed it. And it's pretty sturdy as is. I mean, I mean, I could squish it if I really wanted to. could squish it, but it's pretty sturdy. Where you could go from here, if you don't have any clay, is a paper towel dipped in glue and just cover the whole thing. Or newspaper, like a paper mache. And then you could paint it and so you're on your way to making a stove if you don't have any clay. I do have paper clay so I'm going to do a layer of paper clay on this and then I'm going to dry it in the oven. Alright so I have started the paper clay and I just did one layer around the outside. This is still wet here. And I dried most of it in the oven because it gets kind of difficult to work all at once so you have to do a little bit. Um, you have to do it in steps kind of. Anyway as it was drying, I thought of it, how about I stick a tea light in the back, and I've done this before on, I will show you real quick my tree, this guy doesn't have any clay in him at all, he's just tin foil and paper towel dipped in glue, and you can see I didn't have a red uh, light, so on the inside I put red uh, tissue paper, and I made this little hole for the tea light so it glows. I was doing that for Halloween but I ended up, um, when was this, two years ago? I think it was Halloween 2016 and then I got really sick and I ended up in the hospital and I actually had struggled with some health issues up until this year <laughs> so I never got back to him but I am planning on painting him and getting him ready again for this Halloween hopefully, fingers crossed, right? Okay, so same idea. I'm going to stick that um, light in the back here. Let's do a little thing so I know what I'm doing here. A little bit easier with a plan, hey? So let's see. That's exciting! Okay. On my gnome hum, I keep talking about my gnome hum. I did that uh, on a little fireplace in one of my additions. It looks so cool at nighttime. You turn all the lights off and you have the little, little uh, stoves going. It looks so cool. Okay, so I'm going to work some more clay around this. 
and I'll leave that in there just so I know everything's fitting and everything's perfect and then I'll pull it out before I stick it in the oven and remember if you have no clay you can definitely do it with just um, paper paper towel or newspaper just like I did on that tree there's no clay on that tree guy that I showed you none at all and I sculpted him totally out of foil and masking tape and paper towel dipped in glue and he's as sturdy as they come I couldn't tear him apart unless I took a saw to him all right so I stuck more paper clay in there and I dried it somewhat in the oven just so it stays put it's not completely dry but I want to do some feet here and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this yet but I'm just taking little strips of masking tape thin strips and I'm wrapping it tightly around the wire just to give it a little bit more um, substance to grab onto because I might put clay on here I'm not sure yet So I just wrapped uh, masking tape around and around and around until I had a little bit more something there to work with. And now I'm going to try some clay over those feet. Oh, and to flatten out the uh, masking tape when I had it all on there, I just squeezed it with the pliers. Okay, and then I trimmed off any areas that were sticking out. Yeah, paper clay is great, but not the greatest for sculpting little little things like this. So that worked. They are mostly dry, and that is a little bit more workable for me now. I will touch up what I can here, and then put some... I'm not sure if I'll put clay on the bottom of the feet or not. Maybe I'll leave them. Alright, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out a door, but... I'm kind of stumped, so I'm just going to move on to the chimney. So what I did was to just roll up some tin foil. I actually put a stick in there, and it doesn't need a stick. I just didn't want to use too much tin foil, so I put a stick in there, rolled it around, and I put a little indent on the top of the stove. So that's how it's going to sit, just like that. Okay, I'm going to just um, do newspaper on this thing and then dry it. And it's going to sit like that, so I want the, any seams to be away from where I can see them. glue on there oh my goodness messy messy all right I am gonna try a real hinge because I am having troubles getting any other thing to work usually I can um, fix hinges with fabric or masking tape but for some reason this unit isn't really working out for me so I'm going to try this real hinge and I'm going to sink it a little bit into the side of my stove and if I screw this up I can just fill it in with paper clay and rebake it it's not a big not a big deal sure should I stick wires in there or not to hold it in place I don't know hmm. <laughs> just remember this is not a tutorial this is just you watching me try to figure this out <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put a little wet paper clay in there sink my hinge into there What 
if I put in wire all the way through. Okay, it's stuck an 18 gauge wire bent the end all the way through to the other side. And I'm going to do the same for this one. I have no idea if this is going to work, but I've got to try because I've run out of options. <laughs> uh, bend this right over. Maybe some glue will help. I don't know. Okay, it's not totally dry yet, but that does feel like it's stuck in there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue here, and that's just to hold this for me while I get it attached. Okay, now I'm going to masking tape. Okay, and now I'm going to put some paper clay on there and stick it in the oven and let it thoroughly dry. All right, a couple more hours in the oven, and it looks like I have a pretty good working hinge. So I'm happy with that. Uh, still wouldn't call that a tutorial because it was such a <laughs> it was such a conundrum getting it to work like that. Anyway, I'm going to paint this now, and I'll probably do some more decorations. I'm going to be adding a piece of plastic here as well. And oh, this here, I had a stamp, one of those metal stamps, and it has my initial on it, S. And I just thought I'd stamp it in there. Didn't quite show up well, but oh well. Anyway, I'm going to paint it now. So this here used to hold candy from the store, bulk candy. So it's just a piece of plastic that I cut out for the little window here. And um, before I went to bed, I painted tacky glue all the way around the edge, put it in place, and then I held it on with masking tape while it dried. And this morning, it's pretty stuck on there. So later I'm going to put a little bit more uh, paper clay around the edges so you don't see that. And my chimney. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I got a working handle and I want to show you how I made it, but this um, video is getting a little bit long. So let's end the video here and we'll head over to the next one and I'll show you how I made these handles. I'll see you over there.